maayong gabi mga kapaglaom kag isa naman kadako nga pribilehiyo nga ginhatag sa aton buhi nga Dios where we can able to worship him in spirit and in truth virtually kag sa aton man mga kaabyanan kag sa aton nga mga kauturan mga kapaglaom dira nga masunson nga nagasubaybay sa aton nga programa diri sa Hope Channel Bacolod gusto ko kamo pagatamyawon tanan ang Dios magpakamaayo gid sa aton Subong man sa nagasubaybay sa aton, sa aton nga Facebook Live, sa aton nga YouTube, kag subong man sa bugos nga kalibutan nga kung sa diin nakabati sining, makabati sining mensahe nga gikan sa Ginoo kabay ang Dios magpakamaayo gid sa aton nga tanan. So, sa sining nga kagabihon, antes kita magasugod sa aton nga pagatunan, I would like you brothers and sisters to please Bow down your heads with me as we pray. Wherever you are right now, it might be in your, uh, sa inyo makamukusina, sa inyo makamunga mga balay, biskandiin ka mo mga igsoon, mga ka kapaglaom, opdan nyo ako sa pagpangamuyo sa sinengation. Let us pray. Gamhanan kag maluluyo namon nga Diyos. Sa sinengation, kami naga pasalamat kag nagadayaw dira sa imo. Ginoo, kabay pa. Yang ining mensahe maka pabulig ini paligon para sa amo tanan, subong man ang makabati sini. Kabay pa o Dios. Nga after sining mensahe, there will be a life-changing process to each and every one of us. Dear Lord, help us to understand that every time we call unto your name, we are not bringing you down in heaven, but we are being lifted up nearer and closer to you. Thank you so much for hearing, answering our humble prayers. This to us in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Now, our kaitiks, mga kaigsuunan, before kita magakadto sa aton nga Uh, Tupiko, kung may ara ka mo dira ang mga Biblia, kindly open it with me. In the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly love, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and Patience. Para pagid aton maintindihan mga kaisunan, mga kapaglaom, aton pagid inisya, pagabasahon sa ilunggo nga versyon. Okay, dira sa Colossus uh, kapitu, Kapitulo 3, versikulo 12. Nagahambal, Kamu mga pinili sang Diyos, ginhigugma niya kamu, kaginpain para sa inya kaugalingon. Gani? magmaluluyon kamo magma binuligon magmapainubuson magmalulo kag magmapinansin siyahon aton pagaistoryahan mga kauturan mga pagahisgutan aton sa sining nga uh, uh, tion ang ginatawag nga secularism or the challenge of discipleship secularism present of the greatest challenge to Christian mission today. And we will know later, mga kaigsuunan, mga kapaglaom, kung ano ni bila ang mga tao ng mga secular. You know, this is the greatest challenge of a Christian mission today. You know why? Because they shape the thinking, feeling, and behavior of an individual. As what Mark Finley said in 1993, Inahambal dira that these secularized people are much affected by materialism, whether we accept it or not, mga kapaglaom. Friends and viewers, may ara kita ginatawag nga biskan pa sa aton nga uh, kinabuhi. Kita nga mga kristyano, we are sometimes materialistic. And lack of interest in spirituality. He further emphasized that it is increasingly more difficult 
to draw sizable crowds. Methods that once work are no longer as productive. Advertising that once draw respectable audiences is less effective. And, you know, this is a sad truth. Ini siya mga kapaglaom, isa ini siya ka masubo sa sininga panahon. Now, we will know what is the definition or ano bala ang ginatawag ining ginatawag nga secular. When we say secular, mga kapaglao, mga kaabyanan, friends and viewers, it says that anything that is not religious. Again, secular means anything that is not religious. You know, mga kaigsuunan, mga kapaglao, kaabyanan. Sometimes we claim to ourselves, we are proud to say that we are You know, Christians, we are very religious, but sad to say that we are not spiritual. Now, how can we differentiate being religious and being spiritual? According to my teacher, my values teacher there in CPAC, spirituality means this is the quality of having a relationship towards our God. Because sometimes, mga kapaglao, we can be religious but not spiritual. What do I mean? Just like for example, a corrupt politician always go to church and kneel down and pray to God. And many people believe that he or she is very religious. A murderer, a criminal, manugpatay mga kaigsuunan. Nagsimba, nagsulod sa simbahan, kag nagampo, kag nagpangamuyo. And, you know, we cannot judge, but many people will say that he or she is very religious. The way we speak here in the pulpit, it makes us very religious. The way we dressed up during worship time, It makes us very religious. But the question is, how about having a spiritual aspects in our lives? When we say spiritual, that is the inner self of a person. And God only looks what is inside of us, mga kapaglaon. And I do believe that if you are a spiritual man, being religious will just follow. Amen? Praise the Lord, mga kaituran. Secularism. This is the process in which individuals, institutions, societies becomes secular. Kag-isa ini ka masubo mga kapaglaom, mga kauturan sa aton nga panahon subong. Now, hindi lamang isa gali ka ng mga katawahan, matawag na to nga secular. But, we can also say that our institutions nag-aamat-amat secular. Even the societies becomes secular. How about secularism? You know, these three terminologies are used very differently in various academic, disciplinary, and socio-political and cultural contexts. Thus, it is good to define all three concepts in relation to each other. Now, secularism, this is the knowledge and philosophies held. Secularism is the philosophy or ideology that results in secular individuals, institutions, or societies through a process called secularization. And we know, brothers and sisters, that, you know, being secular, this is against 
gidya sa aton buhi na Dios. Because everything that is in the world is against dira sa aton buhi na Dios. If you are in the world, amo na siya gani ang aton nga uh, makita datun sa aton nga institution that we are in the world but not of the world. Contingency or belief in natural evolution. Now, what is this? When we say contingency, mga kauturan, mga kapaglaom, that is everything that is was caused by some natural phenomenon which preceded it like evolution. Secularist doesn't believe in biblical doctrine of creation. Belief in contingency says that everything exists by chance. Ano pagid? Can be discerned through research, can be explained naturally or scientifically. And there's no need to look for explanations of why. Contingency makes God irrelevant in creation. Diri natin makita mga kapaglaom. Nga hindi na natin makita ang pagkaimportante sa aton buhi ng Diyos. Which is, it makes God irrelevant. Autonomy of man. Relativity. Temporality. You know? This is what we call secularism. Contingency logically leads to the belief that sin is the result of chance. He or she is free to determine his or her destiny, no deity, that governs him or her. Mankind defines what will be their destiny. They can create their own meaning or purpose of life. Because of this, they believe that there are no such a thing as moral absolutes. Everything of what of what is right and wrong is relative and depends on the historical, social, and cultural context. Therefore, secularist people believe that life is all about here and now. Death is the end of everything. Now, how about us Christians? Paano kita ya mga kapaglaom? Kabalo kita balas ang aton na purpose or ano ang paglantaw naton? What will be the next of this? Or ano bala ang pangatuan kung kita mapatay na? What is the afterlife? I hope brothers and sisters na kabalo kita kung ano ang ginatudlo sa Biblia. Because death is not the end of everything. But that is a beginning kung mag-abot si Kristo na kita pag-apukawan. So, during mga uh, kapaglaom, we can see that uh, there is what we call the secular worldview. Now, ano ining ginatawag na secular worldview mga kapaglaom? Secular worldview believes that we arrive on this earth, we live for a short time, then we pass on. Ultimately, for a secular person, what he or she chooses to do is okay as long as he or she does not hurt anyone. So this is the, the secular worldview. It says here that everything is okay as long as nobody gets hurt. In chakto man. But we will know later what is the moral compass here in secular worldview. Now, brothers and sisters, friends and viewers, wherever you are right now, how do we understand secular people? Paano natun bala maintindihan? Sa ilunggo pa nga pinulungan, paano natun bala maintindihan mga kapaglaom 
ining mga tao nga secular. You know, secularization is the process in which religion loses its social and cultural significance. Anthropologists observe that the more technologically advanced a society is the less religious it will be. In short, progress and modernization automatically, uh, automatically bring in secularization. So, there is what we call you know, existential insecurity, pluralism, privatization. Now, existential insecurity is the greater the insecurity, the more likely people will be religious. But, where economic, political, and social conditions have improved, the personal security improves. Ano ang buo si lingon si ni mga kapaglaom? It makes that, you know, ang aton niya economics or ang aton niya government, political, or social conditions naga improve na ang mga katawan sang Diyos mas prefer na lang nila nga diri kita nga diri sila sa security ka kun sa diin tama ka hapos nalipatan na naton ang ginatawag nga religious insecurity what else pluralism ano naman niya ang plura, pluralism existence of different types of people so Amo ini mga kapaglaom ang pag-exist kung ano nga mga klase, mga types ang mga tao who have different beliefs and opinions within the same society. What is common to many is right. When we say, you know, majority wins. That's it. Privatization, it is increasingly inappropriate to discuss religion in public. So, ginapakita diri mga kapaglaom nga okay na lang nga magsimba kita yung in a private way. Wala sila pakialam dira, wala na ang public ministry. So, privatization, religion is confined more on people's private lives and experience. So, religion dira na lang sa ginatawag nga private. So, aton huna-hunaon mga kaabyanan, mga kaoturan, the characteristics of secular people. And this is very much important para sa aton tanan mga kaabyanan. First one, ignorance of basic Christianity. You know, most, if not all, of the secular people are biblically illiterate. Ano ini ang buo sa lingon? Buo sa lingon, wala kikabalo sang sinulatan sang Biblia. They are illiterate when it comes to Bible. So, this is, you know, kasubo man para sa aton. Nga madamo sa mga katawhan, nga nagapati-pati na lang, sa amun ini nga mga haka-haka because wala sila or wala kita nagabasa sa Biblia. What else? Seeking life before death. So, this is the characteristics of secular people. Lantao na itong mga kapaglaom kung ari kita dire. Secular people seek Life before death. So, they are seeking life. Kung uh, kay gapati sila mga kaigsunan, mga kapaglaom, nga ang kamatayon is the end of everything. That's why they seek life before death. How about, uh, how about us, Christians? Number three, conscious of doubt more than of guilt. No? Kabalo na kita sini. Nga amu ini ang mga kinaiya sa mga tao nga secular. Number four is they have a negative image of the church. 
as what I have experienced before, may ara yung mga tao that, you know, malantaw nila ang iglesia nga negatibo, which is very wrong. What else? The next one is multiple alienation. So, the, uh, amuto mga kauturan ang mga characteristics of a secular people. So, what are the significant needs of secular people? Ari, may ari kita diri anong ka mga importante nga gakinahanglan, nga kinahanglan ta ipabalo sa mga secular nga mga katawan. So, the first one is belongingness. You know, mga kauturan, mga kapaglaom, this is very much important, the word belongingness. Because no man is in the islands. So, secular people, they tend to think that being alone is, ano na siya, na yung mas maayo ini siya yan. But you know, we are a social being. So, belongingness is very much important to those secular people. People. Second is authenticity. What do? How do we understand the word authenticity? The word authenticity is inang balang mga kauturan nya makapati kita nga amu gina sa ang kamatauran. Authentic ka ayo. So secular people needs this kind of authenticity. Okay. The next one is. Sense of worth and purpose. Since na ato nakita mga kapaglaom nga ginasik nila o ginapangita nila ang ilang nga purpose diri sa kalibutan and you know feel nila daw worthless ang ilang nga pagkinabuhi. What else? Something or someone to trust. This is also a very much important biskan pa personally sa akon. Kag sa aton gid tanan mga kapaglaom. So some something or someone to trust because you know may ara mga doubts ining mga secular people when it comes to biblical. Okay? And then and then the next is certainty. Dapat certain mga kapaglaom, mga kaabyanan nga dapat makasigurado sila nga amugi sini ang kamatuuran so they need it kag kita ang mga suga para sa mga tao nga mga secular and then the last one is hope beyond this life you know brothers and sisters that we Christians believe and as what the bibles Promised as what God's promised to all of us. You know, ang ginoo yah he never been failed to his promises. That someday somehow there will be hope beyond the grave. Ngabis kan pa kita mapatay. Kung may arak kita ng pagtuo dira sa aton buhi ng Dios. And then there is hope in Christ. Aton git ina paga. Tandaan. Okay. What is culture? Ano ya ang mga ginatawag nga kultura mga kapaglaon, mga kaigsuunan? In order to effectively communicate the gospel to a people group, it is important to study and understand their culture. Just like for example, maglagaw kita ya sa iba niya mga pungsod kung sila ya naga, ano ni mga kauturan? Nag-tumbo-tumbo sila, magsimba. Diri sa aton sa Pilipinas, sa aton pagin nga mga uh, Kristiyano, dapat ya ang aton nga pagsimba, pag-alaga, diri sa ginoo, sulim ni. And then, kung magkanto kita sa iban nga mga pungsod, makita na ito niya amu isinin ila nga the way sila nga mag-worship. And that is, you know, kinanglan man na ito nga insyendihon. Because that is their Culture. So Paul Hilbert, the partially integrated system of ideas, 
feelings and values encoded in learned patterns of behavior, signs, products, rituals, beliefs, and worldviews shared by a community of people. Aton mga kauturan paga enchindihon kung ano ang ila nga kultura. Kaangay sang ginhambal ni Pablo mga kauturan. Kung ako magakadto sa sini nga lugar, mangin kaangay man ako sa ila. What does it mean? We will adapt their culture as long as it does not contradict in the Bible. Okay, that is okay. And that is the time nga makarich out kita those people who are unrich. Culture is the patterned way in which people do things together. Kag ato na ini natunan. So this is like this is what the culture is. Gin komparar ini siya sa isa ka union mga kapaglaom. So the culture is like an object with several layers, like an onion. The outermost layer is the behavior which answers the questions, what is done? The next layer is called the values. Are presets decisions that, are, that a culture makes between choices commonly faced. This answers the question, is it good or bad? Or should it be done or not? The third layer is the belief. So it answers the question, why? Is it good or bad? So this is what the culture is. So sa pinakatunga mga kapaglaom, gina-emphasize diri that what is real, the worldview, the beliefs, or what is true, values, what is good or best. The behavior is what is done. So, we must also uh, understand sa amuning nga mga uh, belief or mga kultura kung kita maga pangminsahe sa iban nga mga lugar, sa iban nga mga, mga pungsod, wherever. Now, what is worldview? According sa akun nga teacher dito sa CPAC, the worldview is, this is how we see the world. It concerns itself with the assumptions of reality and how each aspects of life is related to other aspects of life. Aton pagatandaan mga kauturan. That the worldview, biskan pa sa aton nga panahon subong, tama na gid ka law ay ang mga gobyerno tama na kasikular biskan pa sa bugos nga kalibutan ini naga pakita nga ang Dios lapit na lang gid magaabot ang pamangkot na lang sa aton nga kaugalingon are we in the world or ara kita bela sa aton buhi nga Dios Biskan pa nga ari kita mga kauturan sa kalibutan aton pagatandaan nga ang Dios nagalantaw sa aton just like what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 Biskan pa gani kita nga maggaon maginom we should do it all for the glory of our God what is worldview this is people's way of looking at The world. Amo ni mga kaoturan ang isa sa mga reminders para sa aton in order for us nga hindi kita mangin isa sa mga secular nga mga katawhan. Always remember this text in First Corinthians chapter ten verse thirty one. Whether you eat or drink. Or whatsoever ye do, do it all for the glory of our God. Ang Dios magpakamaayo sa atong yatanan. This is my prayer.